Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. 
While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the center. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. You'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Keep my distance. Have you managed to find that bottle of 60 year old? I'm sorry, sir. We are still looking. But you have a bottle, right? It has to be 60 years old. Of course. The Royal Highness has the best selection in the world. Good. Let me know when you found it.
Yes, I'm standing right here, sir. Please step out of my bubble. Marcus, you are keeping yourself out of trouble. I'm trying to keep a low profile. So, have you talked to your daughter? That's not of your business. Everything here is my business. You are my guest. Do you know that Carl is wondering why you are down here? Carl is not my keeper. You better keep your mouth shut. He can't know I contacted her. Don't worry, Marcus. Your secret is safe with me. Carl knows nothing. And I hope you won't forget that. You know, I gave you a very moving eulogy during my speech. I'm sorry I missed it. Yes, so am I. Stay safe. And remember who your friends are. I hope your talk with your daughter gives you some closure. I will. say by any means necessary, but alas, she is one of the stars of the inauguration. So I would like you to lure her away from the other young lady I need to talk to. Understood? Good. No idea what I'm doing. You 
know, Cornelia. I really worry about you. Oh, wow. Uh, do you see that? Oh, that's a bag. Uh, that's real. M47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. This area is a restricted area, and I can't let you in. Please vacate the area. Use of deadly force has been authorized. This is off limits, sorry. Keep moving. No, it's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zayna Kazim. Sir, I understand. You can't enter without being searched. Standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Chris. Keeping the big man safe, huh? Just have the one drink. I'm sure if I'm needed out there, one of the technicians. Time to step up your game.
Sorry, sir. You don't appear on my list, so you need to go. Sir, you really need to listen if you know what's best for you. No trespassing. You're bad news. You're going down. I'm sorry, Mr. Right. Ingram gave specific instructions. The place no where he's working, he doesn't want a to place stop. where the intelligence and the strong going. can prosper. But uh, we also understand that where there are masters, there must be servants. This cannot be done without an effective class system. The servants must be controlled. That's enough for now. What the hell? Hey, I need a doctor. Whoa! What was that?